Redditor Comfortable Cry 8097 heard a noise while in bed. When she checked out her ring camera the next morning, this is what she saw. First, a noise is heard. Now watch the back center near the banister. What is that? To most in the comments, it looks like a full-bodied ghost, and it sounds like it's causing even more mayhem in the home. According to the Redditor, the figure was heading toward her bedroom, but the door remained shut. Well, most agree that it's a ghost, and I concur. Some suggest this could be a compressed artifact or some other camera glitch. But what of the noise? That one is not so easily explained. A person with an interest in graveyards is casually filming when they accidentally pick up a bizarre and possibly dangerous watcher. You can see a blurry shadow as it takes a few steps out from the other side of a wall, but the person recording doesn't seem to notice. It wasn't until much later that they reviewed the video and found the hidden lurker in the distance. I personally think that this could be CGI because the resolution of the video seems to have been lowered, which is always a sign of amateur effects. Then again, the person recording may have been using a cheap camera. Or maybe this is an older video. Peel your eyes back for this one. Published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022, this scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure. But it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. A scary video of paranormal investigation shows what kind of creepy stuff can happen when exploring abandoned places goes wrong. Dan of a paranormal investigation channel called Paranormal Encounters UK explores a haunted hotel that is a hotbed of paranormal activity. He explores the lobby and goes upstairs. Past a rope, he finds two empty glasses at the counter. Kind of like somebody was preparing to take their own life. Dan calls out to no one in particular and captures a ghost on camera that could be a bug. Hello? Next, he explores a room with lots of mysterious lights. The longer he stays, the more light seems to appear. He talks about how before becoming a haunted hotel, this place used to be a girls' school. So maybe there is a little ghost girl watching from the hallway. Nothing else happens until 18 minutes later when he explores a different room. This is the part of the paranormal investigation where he addresses anyone nearby directly. Does any spirits? There's any ghosts, anything in this room right now that wants to make contact with me. Only when he looks through the camera does he realize spooky ghost orbs have been following him all along. What reflection? Oh my 
Oh, so, so cool as well as man. Ghost orbs, which fly into him repeatedly. If you believe in the paranormal, then you will probably see this as spirits attaching themselves to a living host. In other words, a possession. If you are a skeptic, then to you this is not a ghost sighting, merely dust. A YouTuber named Cup of Mocha is in the middle of making a video when she realizes she is no longer by herself at home. What the f This door is not supposed to be open. The video goes from light and playful to an emergency situation after she sees the busted basement door. I personally would have called the police at this point, but Cup of Mocha decides to stay. Watch this part and tell me if you think she should have ran upstairs or kept recording. I'm just gonna film this just in case, like, the police find it or something. But that's f what the she goes from room to room half expecting to get jumped by some crazed intruder at any moment. She eventually tiptoes into a large laundry room with many hiding spots. It looks all clear until this happens next. There's literally no one here. Oh my! According to Cup of Mocha, someone bumps her from behind and she drops her camera as they run away. I wasn't sure if this was real or not. But over one year later, she still appears to be having problems with this obsessed fan. Oh my god, Monique, 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 we need to go. Come here. What? She sounds really scared here, but I would like to know if you think she is truly in danger or just making a fictional series. Jelly Spotters is making a YouTube video with a homemade Ouija board. They barely get out a few questions before one of the candles starts to do something really weird. Okay. Jelly Spotters is not standing near any fans and all of the windows are closed. Plus, if it was the wind, then the other candles should go out as well. After a while, it becomes apparent that the spirit is using the candle to answer them instead of the board. Do you want to say goodbye? Me? Do you want us to leave? Can we please say goodbye? Yes? Alright, let's go. What do you expect to encounter inside a morgue but the passed away? Published by Kay in September of 2016, this exploration of a haunted abandoned morgue turns cold. Kay and crew arrive at the morgue at night, wandering around it and find a way in. They enter through a piece of metal exterior that has been ripped off. While exploring, they come across the beds where the people are examined. Oh my god, that's the dead beds. Wait, mate. That's the death <laughs> they also spot a creepy message on the wall that reads, You're not supposed to be here. We will get you. In another room, dripping in red liquid, is the word beware. Why does it say beware? What the f is oh this? What? Beware of what? Let's see. Down a hallway, they find a mattress on the floor. Apparently, someone is calling this mortuary home. They then come across what might be the crematorium, or maybe just where the passed on are kept waiting. Oh my god, mate, what are these doors? What is kept in there? At one point, when they've just entered another room, one of the crew turns quickly around and pushes his friends back the other way. That's when they hurry out of the morgue. Kay explains that what he saw in the last room was the shadow of a man on the floor. When he entered, the man got up and glass started cracking. Was it the man whose bed they saw in the hallway? Or was this a ghost that was about to cause true havoc? Ghost Hunters Bro Sham and iStudio team up for one of the scariest paranormal explorations in Indonesia. This time they're exploring a haunted hospital that gives them chills, literally. So di depan saya 
memang hutan eh hutan beluka eh. He senses a drop in temperature. The camera goes out of focus. A shadow stretches out to him and then goes away. When he looks over, it's nowhere to be found. They spend a long time exploring the courtyard for more paranormal activity, but get no further signs. Inside, the hospital is being taken back by the rainforest one room at a time, but plenty of the place remains haunted. Salamu. The voice is coming from a room that has a drawing of a witch-like head on the wall. There's no other drawings anywhere else in the hospital, just here. Whatever drew this knew what was in here. As they leave this haunted place, they find this figure upright in the forest, face and body wrapped up in a single cloth, not making a single sound. I don't know if it's a ghost or one of them pretending to be a spirit, but it's creepy and they get out of there without getting any closer. If something falls from above, the universe may be trying to tell you something. Published to YouTube in June of 2020 by MD Vines Official, this will leave you shaking. Out in the jungle at night, a group is discussing something while standing outside of this obscure structure. The moon is full above. They start to see a small point of light blinking in the darkness. They follow it as it moves. Then all of a sudden, something heavy like a brick falls from above. The group starts running like mad. What just tried to take their lives? Whatever it is, the creature is vengeful. They better watch their step. Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. I swear it's in it. Just go away. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost. Except for one thing, there are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest, but the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person, and there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. Put on your bowling shoes. Published by Joe MC in June of 2021, a mysterious bright light is roaming the lanes of this bowling alley. The light is seen hovering distantly into a lane to the far left for a minute before shooting to the right. The twinkling light pauses for a moment in one lane before shooting left again. It hovers there and flies about a minute more before the clip ends. What is this strange light? Is it the soul of a bowling enthusiast? If it is, I hope he gets a strike. These are the home videos of two of the most evil Canadians ever. Paul Bernardo and Carla Homoka. The pair are a husband and wife team who took at least three lives in the early 90s. Although these home videos show the couple's normal everyday life, their wedding day, celebrating holidays, etc., investigators were haunted by the secret home videos of the pair committing horrific acts. After a plea bargain in which Carla claimed to have been an unwilling accomplice, she was sentenced to only 12 years, while well, Paul received a life sentence. However, the videotapes that came out after the plea agreement showed that Carla had been much more active in the events than she had claimed. Subsequently, the Canadian press called her deal with prosecutors, the deal with the devil. Carla was released from prison in 2005 She's now remarried and lives in Quebec.
A YouTuber named Joseph Chansuom is absolutely positive that a ghost has been playing tricks on him, so he sets up a camera to record his apartment at night, since that's when the majority of his otherworldly interactions have occurred. It's past 1 in the morning when orbs begin to dash wildly overhead like fireflies, then something turns on the bathroom lights and puts the faucet on full blast. Soon the door shuts by itself, and maybe it's just me, but I think I hear a really weird noise after it closes, kind of like a sigh. Listen to this and let me know if you hear it too. So anyway, Joseph wakes up after a while, and he hears the sink running. He immediately checks all around his bathroom, only to find it's completely empty. It's important to note that I didn't see any editing cuts between when the sink turned on and when he checked the room. If this is fake, it's very convincing. Here's another video of the sink on a different night, this time taken in front of a mirror to show that no one was around. Joseph eventually moved away before the paranormal tampering could escalate into something more dangerous. While investigating the Misfa Hotel in Nevada, Amy's crypt encountered some paranormal activity from the infamous Lady in Red. Amy leads us to her room, where they'll be staying for the evening. I am going to call the elevator. We're only going up one floor, but I wanted to bring you guys in this thing because it is super, super old, and there has been people to have paranormal experiences in here, namely men. So the woman who wants this hotel... A still camera in the room captures this subtle female voice. While exploring the hallways of the hotel, they hear another unexplained sound. What's that? Is that a frame? Something just clicked. I did say make a noise for us and then a noise. Was it up here? Yeah, I feel like it was that light. They continue exploring while using the ghost tube app, and a spirit has a question for them. Why did you come? Dad just said, why did you come? What? And we literally about to enter the fifth floor, the most haunted floor. And the pressure is on. Leave here. Okay, we're gonna go to our room. When they enter the red lady room, they hear what sounds like a woman's voice again. Weird. Yeah. Here it is from the inside. Is the red lady waiting for them here? I'm sure she is, and they've had plenty of warnings to leave, so when things go bottom up, I guess it's time to get out ASAP. This video resolution, which is fairly good quality, or at least better than most, catches a statue moving its eyes. From 8 seconds to 12 seconds, the statue has heavy eyelids that are almost shut. The person recording stops for a second to adjust the lighting, and that's when the statue apparently opens its eyes. Well, this would be bizarre to witness in person. I think this moving statue is a simple camera trick using angles and lighting. In the beginning, they record the statue at an upward angle with low lighting to make the eyes look more closed, but then they record at a downward angle with more lighting to increase the level of detail and make the eyes look more open. It's an interesting trick, but I doubt it's real. Or at least, that's what I think. Do you think it's real? Is that, dude? <laughs> a single strange light in the sky has a YouTuber named Jesse Table Beast looking up with curiosity and horror. Yeah, it's definitely fine, whatever it is. He and his friend decide to drive towards this strange blinking light and investigate what it could be. The still image taken at 4 minutes and 58 seconds gives us a better look at it. A disc-like object floating in the air. There's an intense light coming from the bottom and also a small circular dome on top. They don't know what it is and neither does anyone else. A minute later, they are at the source of the light, which is much larger now but still just as unexplained. 
They think the light is coming from a nearby power plant, but it's too dark and rainy to tell, so they go home without knowing for certain. This light, well bizarre, might be from a busted power generator, but if that were the case then you'd think the light would be low to the ground and constant. The light is high in the air. Tell me what you think it is. A YouTuber named Miguel Alvarez is racing down the road at high speeds for a very good reason. He catches up to a red car and immediately gets the driver's attention. Hey! It's on fire! It's on fire! The flames quickly crawl up the vehicle and soon reach the engine. What you see here is the end result just before firefighters arrived and contained the blaze. It looks bad, but things could have been way worse. The woman could have still been inside of this vehicle, if not for the heroic actions of Miguel Alvarez and his friend. A YouTuber named Yankee Reb travels to the haunted battlefield of Gettysburg, Virginia and stands before an old battle cannon. He grows very still and records nothing but darkness for a full 20 minutes before any paranormal activity occurs. As the night progresses, a lone soldier silently marches around the cannon and stops just outside of the muzzle, which is where you would stand to reload it. Holy, holy co- Down by the cannon, you see that? Oh, what is that? I say it could be a soldier because, aside from the historic location, I can also kind of make out the old style sash and hat that some soldiers used to wear. No way, what is that? I have no idea. Did you get that on the camera? It's recording. Oh my gosh, did you see that? His attire is most visible at around the 1 minute and 58 second mark, so that's when you can get the clearest and most direct look for yourself. Let me know if you can see what he has on. I, did you, honestly, I, I wouldn't believe it unless we recorded it. Maybe this soldier in particular was accidentally taken out by his own cannon while reloading, which used to happen quite often back those times. A YouTube channel called Kiwi in Japan has the creepy encounter of a lifetime that leaves everyone screaming with fear and excitement in the kitchen. Oh, that is freaky. That is so scary. Oh, yuck. With a bowl in one hand and a piece of paper in the other, he hatches a plan to cover the spider and slip the paper underneath to contain it. It doesn't end well. You ready? Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Why did I At one minute and 14 seconds, the spider literally jumps out of the way and almost lands on his arm. He's wearing no gloves and a short sleeve shirt when it happens, meaning he's completely vulnerable. Fortunately, it's more interested in finding shelter than battling back. It's fast enough to evade him three more times, but with legs that long, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After a final showdown in the closet, he apprehends the arachnid and sends it back on its way to nature with a final toss. I bet they're really glad to have gotten rid of it. I don't think I could still live someplace where I saw a spider take up a whole entire room of a corner before, at least not until it was taken out of the house, and I'm definitely not sure if I would have been brave enough to try and capture it. Talk about scary stuff. I'm being followed. <laughs> Have you ever got the feeling that you were being followed? What if it were true? A YouTuber published this video of his experience being stalked in Japan in February of 2011. In the video, he explains that when he turned on his camera, this female stalker became interested in what he was up to, so she started following him. Despite his rather roundabout route, which he was using to try and lose her, you can see the woman over his shoulder, dressed all in black in a long coat with very pale skin. To make matters scarier, it's raining. The gloominess results in heightened fear. So what is this woman doing? Why is she following some random stranger in the street? Some even speculated that this man was in serious danger. Whoever she is, I'd get out of there, and fast. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. 
If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.